because it's really cold in the house but I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, as a tank top. I do have to alter the sides a little bit because it kind of does this weird pointy thing in the corners. But um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the things you're going to need for this tutorial um, is going to be a t-shirt, a plain t-shirt. You can use any color you want. I made my first one in a white and I did um, the black on white and then also I purchased a just a regular basic black top that I turned into a tank top to save on time here. Um, I got these from Michaels. Right now they're doing a special on their shirts. It was two for six dollars, which um, I got the rest of my craft supplies there, so I figure, you know, why not knock out two birds with one stone. And that and Salvation Army is closed on Sundays for obvious reasons. <laughs> but um, what you're going to need is a shirt and also some foam board. I bought a really thick foam board because I felt that that worked best for making a stamp because you will need to make a stamp. Also, you'll need two types of paintbrushes. I use this foam one right here, or sponge one, I'm sorry, this sponge one right here, and also just this regular paintbrush to fill in any details. And you'll also need paint, some fabric paint. I have some black fabric paint and also this um, matte soft fabric paint right here. And you'll need a plate or a bowl, something you can stick your paint in. I just chose a regular paper plate. And also, um, at Michael's, they have these little wooden pieces that are like 29 cents. I went ahead and bought one of these so I could stick the rubber stamp that I created onto it. So this is just my homemade stamp that I made. And your cross can be as thin or as thick as you want. But I just chose this. And a little background to this shirt that I'm wearing real quick. Um, NastyGal.com has this dress right now. It's a fitted dress and it has this cross pattern and I really wanted it. I absolutely did. But it's like $80 and I thought, oh, that's still a little too pricey. Actually, that is pricey for me. So I just thought, why not just make a tank top that's going to cost me less than $5 or 10 no, less than $10 to make. So that's what I did and I'm quite pleased with it. I do like it. And I have it semi-tucked into my shorts, which is why it's all scrunched here, but I'll just go ahead and I'll take that out so you guys can see. Alright, so first what you're going to do is open up your paint, which this is not open. How convenient. should have did that before I started. Actually, let's shake it up just a little bit. Okay. So, remove that fun wrapper. And I don't own a tripod, I believe that's what they're called, or a camera stand. Um, so I just have this propped up on a box right now, the camera. So I'll show you as I stamp. I'll hold it up so you guys can see. But basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take your little sponge brush. You're going to dip that in some paint. And you're just going to go over the cross stamp with it. I'll show you guys like that. Make sure you get the entire cross, that way it comes out on your shirt. And I put at least two coats of the paint on because I could still see some of the foam sticking through and I wanted the print to go on there. I wanted the full print to go on there, not just some of it. So, just like that. And also I cut this little foam piece off to clean up the edges around the cross because it gets kind of um, goopy in some areas. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And then wherever you want on your shirt, you can put the cross. And I'm just going to center this one right in the middle. I think that one might be a little off. <laughs> Alright, and then just kind of press down and rock the stamp back and forth a little bit so you get all the paint on there. And then lift up. And... Voila! You've got the print on your shirt. And also, I would recommend if you want to stick a cardboard underneath inside the shirt, that way while you're stamping, the paint doesn't bleed through on the other side. Unless you want that, that's fine. Um, now, I only did the front of my shirt with the crosses, 
but you can do the front and the back, customize this however you guys want. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process and then I'll show you what it looks like when this is done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm done. It took me maybe about five minutes at most to finish the rest of the crosses. But this is what it looks like. This is the finished product right here. And you probably can't see it because I'm a little distant from the camera, but right here the paint didn't fully cover the shirt. So that's where the little brush comes in handy. If you want to go over that with some more white paint to fill in the gaps or any other color that you use for paint, you can do that. I'm probably just going to leave it alone, let it be. Um, also, the white paint came out more of like a gray on here, and I'm guessing that's because the paint's kind of thin, so you might maybe want to do go ahead and go over it with the brush. But I kind of like it. It's kind of like a stone gray look. I like that. So I'm going to leave it as is. Another cool thing you can do with these, um, if you get a darker color shirt, or if you're wearing, let's say, the white shirt, you get one that's white, you can fringe the bottom. You can do that. Or also use bleach and just splatter bleach on here maybe before you do the stamping. That way you'll have like a multicolored shirt and then you'll have a cross print on it and it'll look really cool. But um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short tutorial. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.